All right. We are going to do some be nap time Dark cheer control for two. What's the difference between an orchestra and a bull? On the bull, the horns are in the front and the asshole is in the back. Yikes. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Thank you, Nap. <laughs> Good god. Uh, let's put this at minus 25. There we go. <laughs> what? Why did this move that shouldn't have moved my text thing moved there we go strange thank you nap i appreciate it good morning zorts how are you doing i gotta open up the spreadsheet first we're gonna do a playthrough now i've completed this game um many many moons ago and i wrote my own walkthrough based on some other stuff out there because some other stuff out there wasn't quite correct so i've written my own but this is uh one of the first computer games that got me into computer games i was at a friend's house having a part and we were doing party stuff and he had this game and uh while everybody else was sleeping i was playing this thing all night long all night i did not sleep so a good eight to nine hours i was playing this damn game this game's amazing i i mean for some they hate they don't like it but for me it's one of the first games i've really got into um you're still blah yeah so last night i didn't do the podcast because uh i was not feeling well um and then you told me before i could tell you and i'm like damn it <laughs> like, damn it sorts so uh and it wasn't really like i was sick it was more just tired just tired because we had owen's um Owen's Owen's birth day part part party right. So there's lots of kids. Even though I wasn't really doing much, it's just the noise and all that. Even though I'm not the one running around and making noise, it wears me out, right? And I didn't get to have a nap, and then I didn't get to stream because I knew I was I, d I didn't think I was going to be able to stream, and I couldn't. So I knew I had to do a stream, and I'm like, well. <clears throat> To be honest, my fundraiser is more important <clears throat> than doing the podcast. So I think what I was going to try to do was see if five still wanted to go. And if not, I was going to do a short show and talk about the leveling contest and all that stuff that Lita want wanted me to. Uh, and then just knock that out and get it done and then go right to sleep and uh hopefully wake up refreshed but lita was actually back home and i did not know that i'm like huh okay so because she was back home she uh she did the things and stuff so she did it i'm like all right and i got to sleep okay this is just the end of the credits okay we are going to start a new game uh we are gonna we've got our vault we're gonna have the game volume at minus 25 we're at zero uh generally so there's no speech volume <clears throat> like there's no actual talking oh actually you know what there is uh but it should be okay at at, at minus 25 you're probably gonna go back to bed soon oh man No worries, dude. I mean, if you're sick, you're sick, dude. You gotta rest, right? Uh, this this game is called uh, the Urquan Masters, and it's a port from the original game called Star Control Two. 
Um, and that code was released by the owners of the code back in the day because a lot of people loved this game and uh, it was released to the fan base to say port it do it keep keep it alive do anything that you can and they did so now we have a urquan masters version 0 0.7 that works on pretty much any computer so all right new game the original dark control game is nothing like this it's like you pick spaceships and you battle each other that's it this is a R rpg hey lou set free into the open source community in 2002. So this is referring to the first game, which was not an RPG like this one is. stranded So they basically uncovered, like, um, there was a race way before us, way before us. That left this thing here that actually is supposed to build starships. Like, damn. Convenient. Now we can get off the planet. All right. Uh, wait, how do we do? I forgot how to do stuff. Oh, God. Tab, Control, Alt, Shift, Up, Down. Nope, 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 nope. Turn back around. Oh, God, no. We don't want to leave. That's for sure. Uh, the momentum and the turning sucks right now because your ship is so... Okay, let's just see if we can... Okay. Where... No. Starman... Oh, that's what it is. Okay, here we go. Uh, navigate. No. Games. Settings. 
Captain. All right. Captain name. What are we going to call this ship? What are we going to call this ship? I usually call it like something like the young, the youngs, uh, youngs, the, the, the Bob. Rock bottom. Uh, hmm. And then, and then I used to call it like, like, like USS something or other, right? Is this a ship that travels space and time to find wrestlers? Oh, it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I mean, we push into hyperspace. We also push into quasi space too, eventually. <laughs> um, it's such a difficult thing. What do you want to call the ship name? Like, this is one of the hardest things. And even in World of Warcraft, what do you want to call your 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 character name? If you only had one character, it's like god god you you sit there and you're like uh man. Uh all right. Let's uh <laughs> Let's call it the USS Bob. The USS Bob. <laughs> Starfucker. <laughs> Uh, actually, let's call it the USS King Bob. Oh, I can't. Oh, Jesus. All right. Fine. All right. Let's, let's call it King Bob. Okay. Combat? No. We are... We're going to let the computer do it for us because uh, um, actually we are going to watch. Okay, there we go. We are going to watch it. Music on, sound on, exit. Okay, we're good there. Exit menu. This is definitely different. They, they've changed it a little bit. I'm actually, wouldn't mind, where's the options? Oh, the options were at the beginning. All right, let's navigate. We are going to Earth. Why? Because this is part of the, I'm, I'm going to do the soundtrack of the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Whoops. To standard hierarchy identification <laughs> transmission. Thank you, Kevin. And is therefore deemed to be independent. This is not permissible. Only subservience shall be tolerated. This drone now leaves to inform the Urquan of your transgressions. Crap. You are commanded to remain here and await the arrival of the Urquan. Disobedience will be punished. Well, it looks like, uh... It looks like Earth is surrounded by a shield. And, uh, looks like, uh, the humans lost. 
Attention unidentified space vessel. I am Starbase Commander Hayes of the slave planet Earth. What? Our hyperwave broadcast is extremely weak. Situation critical. Energy cores exhausted. Scanners and deep radar are non-functional. It was, You cannot Kevin. identify your vessel. Are you the scheduled hierarchy resupply ship? Repeat. Are you the resupply vessel? Uh. <laughs> this is a game from 1992. And it did go on PC. Like, it's a PC game. Player, com uh, a personal computer game. Looks like a CD-ROM game to me. You know. Uh, Slave Planet, Air well, Rocket... I don't know who you are or why you're here, but right now, the only thing I'm worried about is saving the lives of 1,900 men and women aboard this starbase, and right now, you're our only hope. I can't keep the transmitter on too much longer. We need the power for heat and air, so if you don't have any radioactives on board your vessel, please get some and bring them back here before it's too late. Um, I think it did actually fit on a floppy, on a one on a one point four four. All right. Uh, well, I know where to go. So. Thanks. I'll make sure to mention this the next time I talk with our masters. Wow. I'm sure they will reward you. Oh boy, <laughs> they're gonna reward us. Uh, so the voiceover stuff was added after the voiceover is not the is not part of the original stuff the music is the voiceover is not the the music were were mod files if anybody remembers those the 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 mo the mod music files the voice stuff was added by the people that were able to get the um code when it was released and create uh Go to Mercury and mine everything. Yeah, Wave would have been too big. Really? Mercury? Because Mercury is uh, going to be pretty hot. It's probably not a good idea for us to be in there, but <clears throat> apparently that's what I wrote in my notes. Maybe my notes are bad. So a lot of this game is going to different planets, getting the resources you need, and basically trying to try to break the shield. Um, all right, auto scan everything. Ooh, look at all the minerals. Okay, let's send our lander down to get some radioactive ore. I think it's. I think we hit space. Sulfur. So, this is why when I played this. Oh, shoot. Well, yeah. Alright. Uh, we have to go back up. How the heck do we get. Oh, escape. Escape gets us back up. Uh, we need to get everything from here. The more that you can get, the better. There are some planets that are just. Oh, Jesus. That are just brutal, brutal. Like you can't move, man. We. Uh, there is a new game that we're eventually gonna play. That. Uh, that is a. It's it's basically the they they bought the rights to this game. And uh, they created a new game, and it's really good. I believe it's a prequel? It's supposed to be more when humans first found out, like, hey, we're not alone. That's pretty cool. I have not completed it. I only played about two hours, and then I got busy. All right, there we go. It's called Star Control uh, or... Uh, or, or 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 regions. Uh, okay, so let me head back to the, to uh, Commander Hayes. I don't like the the. 
I don't like the 3DO menus, so I'm going to change that back. Alright, I'm going to go talk to Hayes here. Like, hey, buddy. Did you find any radioactive elements for our power cores? I did. Uh, what will you give I'm us? sorry, Captain. Your message was garbled. Our receivers have very little power. All right. Uh, all right We're let's initiating just transfer of radioactives, Captain. Now, as soon as our engineers can refit the energy cores, there, that's much better. Power ratings are climbing. Life support is coming back into the green. Deep radar systems and sensors are now online, and I can scan your vessel. What the hell kind of ship is that? I know. Just who are you, Captain? <laughs> uh, yes. Star Control Science Mission, huh? <laughs> Captain, I served as a Star Control Officer during the war aboard several cruisers in the Corward Front. Okay, buddy. And if there'd been any scientific mission to Vela, I would have heard about it. Sure. Hmm. It was you know, secret. Think of it's it. Like, there oh, okay. were some rumors that <laughs> Corridor 9, the Special Operations Division of Star Control, was directing some hush hush operation near Andresynth Space. The Vela Star System. Yes, that would be the right direction. So, Captain, <laughs> if you <laughs> say it's true, how do you explain that huge alien starship huge. you're flying? And why are you here? What do you want from us? <laughs> I want everything. Everything. Ah, fight the Urquan. Win back our freedom. I remember having such thoughts myself once, long time ago. That was in the first years after the defeat, when it was still terrifying to look up and see the bloody glow of the pulsating slave shield overhead. Though day and night we gazed up at the impenetrable wall, as uh, though the sheer power of our hatred would pull it down. Yeah. But over the years, I spent so much of my time struggling down on the surface, under the shield, and then later up here trying to keep the station yes, alive, that I'd forgotten what it means to be free, to hate our Urquan masters. And now here you are, in an alien ship of unknown power, offering me your assistance to fight against the hierarchy again after all these years. Captain, your offer is intriguing. It's tempting to think that with your advanced precursor technology, we can somehow crack the Earth's slave shield and reassemble the Alliance to attack the Hierarchy. And this time, win the damn war. Consider the consequences if you should fail. The Urquan won't just punish us here on the station, they'll exact a gruesome retribution oh, on the surface below as well. Before I commit this station to helping you attack the Urquan and accepting the risk of annihilation if we are defeated, yeah, I have to make sure reverse. that you and your ship Rio. have what it takes to oppose the Hierarchy. I'll make you a deal. B -R -I -O. If you can eliminate the alien base on the moon and get rid of that threat at least, I will seriously consider your offer. Oh boy. What's Brio? It's uh it's a Chinoto. <laughs> Alright, uh let's go careful, new, Captain. New, there neutralize the base. Spat the eluders and Ill Wrath Avengers down there on the lunar surface. I don't know why they haven't come after you yet, but when they do, you'd better have your weapons armed and your thrusters burning hot. <laughs> burning hot. All right, let's go to the moon. It's a bittersweet cola. Uh, yeah, it's an acquired taste. It's an acquired taste. It's, uh... When I first had it, it was disgust. I I couldn't, I couldn't eat it, I couldn't drink it. It was terrible. It's just. <sighs> now where's my shooters? Like I don't. Is this... Nope. Whoops. Shit. No. God damn it. We don't need to auto scan. Okay. Let's just send people down. Okay. Now, 
Where are... Is it alt? Control? Ah, it's control and then shift is to get the hell out of there. So it can blow these things up. I don't know what these are. Phew. They don't really do anything, though. Phew. Let's get all the resources that we can. And we're full. All right. Port from the surface. So they found a base. And it's empty. But great care has been taken to make it look like it's been, uh, like, like it's still, like it's still active. Life support systems are functional. Fusion gen generators are at full output. Uh, we found a hyperwave uh, transmission thing all the way going out to uh, Pluto. All right. Uh, wait, navigate. Yeah, I definitely want the old menus. I don't like the new menus. I'm going to change it back next time. Have you dealt with the base yet? Yes. It was abandoned. Oh, darn. All these years we've been listening to their incoherent broadcast and we never even guessed. Captain, listen Humans closely. Are Long range sensors show uh -oh. a ship closing on this station fast. Our computer identifies it as Ilrath, Avenger class. Oh, crap. I think you've got a fight on your hands, Captain. Your best bet is to wait until you have point blank range. Captain, it's jamming our signal. By the fetid breath of the dark twin, Kazan, a human and an alien starship. How fascinating. When I intercepted that Urquan drone and learned that an unidentified starship had approached Earth, uh, I never expected to find such a remarkable vehicle in the hands of a human. Humans are prey animals, weak and helpless. But here is a human in an armed starship and therefore in direct violation of the Oath of Fealty. I am sure our masters, the Orquan, will punish Earth most severely for this treachery when I present them with the twisted wreckage of your ship Damn. and your many charred corpses. Uh, where the hell did you come from? I will gladly explain. We have spent many years gleefully preying on the Pekunk. They are a pitiful, easily killed species. And we <laughs> would have continued in this divine worship of Dogar and Kazan, but we required additional crew members and repairs to our cloaking device. So we departed the Jiglas constellation and set course for home. But before we had reached our region of space, we detected the passage of a nearby vessel, the Urquan drone. It informed us about you, so here we are. And now, you die! What? No! So, <clears throat> back in the day, you, you'd have to write all the notes down because you couldn't pause it, right? So you'd be like, oh my god, like there's all this info. And you're constantly writing notes, and the new game is like that as well. Alright, so I put this on computer control because uh, I suck ass at this stuff. I've always sucked ass at this. <laughs> we are the... Yay, we won. What a beautiful sight, Captain. I haven't seen an Avenger blown away like that since the battle in Draco. <laughs> I guess you've shown that you can handle yourself in battle, Captain. So my yeah, last computer reservation can. about helping you has been dissolved. I will commit this station to helping free Earth and defeat the Urquan. We may get our atoms rearranged in the process, but by God, Captain, we're going to try. <laughs> so the obvious first step is to get the precursor equipment and software over here so that we can make it work with our ship repair fabricators. But then what, Captain? Then, hmm, proceed to kick major alien butt. Uh, I have a tra So, uh, trust me, Commander, I have a plan. A really good plan. But for now, 
It must remain a secret. Yes. You feel it's necessary, Captain. I understand. <laughs> By the Don't way, question Captain, me. I think we need a name for this new alliance we're going to forge. And since it was your idea, it's only fair that you get the honor of naming it. So, what will it be? All right. The new alliance of free stars? No. The concordance of alien nations? I've never done that. Uh, the the United Federation of Worlds. I usually either pick this one or the or the or the, or the or the Empire, because you know Trek. Or do I want to be like a to to totalitarian dictator? And since I chose, hey, I've got a plan, but you know, don't worry about it. We're gonna go to the Empire well, of Stone. <laughs> well, you're the one with the big starship. <laughs> Damn so right. Now, Captain, I expect the configuration <laughs> process for the starbase to take at least two weeks. So let's get to work. <laughs> I have good news to report, Captain. We have successfully integrated the precursor technology exactly, from your Zerts. ship into our fabricator system, and as you can see. We've already begun minor repairs on your ship, patching up some of the micrometeorite holes. We noticed that your ship does not have an emergency warp escape unit, so our engineers rigged up some for you and each of your escorts. Oh. Now, you should be able to escape from a bad situation with the touch of a button, but there is a cost, however. The unit gulps up five fuel units each time your precursor ship uses Jesus. it. Also, we now have a limited capacity to make modifications to your ship to refine starship fuel to build additional combat ships, and to train new members of your crew for the flagship and any ships you acquire for your fleet. Captain, I know you're eager to get to work. I Talk am. Brief. If you have any questions, how this star base works, what resources we need, or just some background information... Oh, we only have five fuel units right now. To ask. <laughs> uh, minerals to offload. So I'm just going to cut all that stuff. Not hey. a bad job, Captain. Uh, shall right. await your return, I'm going Captain. to save the game and then change the settings to get rid of the old menus because I don't like the old menus. All right, uh, let's depart for a second here. Save. Uh, did that? Did that work? It did. Okay. I guess we quit. Yes. Okay. Set up. Uh, let's not do the menu style. We want the text one. That's why it was pictographic. Let's go to the text one. That's better. Um, I think I changed it all. Subtitles, we definitely want to... Alright, you have a... Dude, you rest up, man, and get better. I will catch you later, dude. Um, Alright. There we go. Okay. Let's go back in. And let's load that game yes yeah, see how there's menu options down at the side now that's 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 what i'm used to all right let's turn around let's go back because we need to get more crew and we need to refuel the ship all right uh, outfit the ship uh fuel i think we can go up to 100. Only 60. Um, to, to get crew for this, for this guy, we can only get 50 on this one. I think. Yeah. Okay. I think I am going to actually get. Another Earth ship. Uh, when did dailies reset? Uh, they should have reset 34 minutes ago at 10 a.m. Eastern. And we'll get, oops, we'll get crew for this one. Okay. That should be good. 
Let's just resave it just in case. Um, okay. Now go. It says, "Tell me to go mine Mars." Hey, we're going to Mars. Alright. Oh, Mars is on the other side. <clears throat> Turn around. Played this game for hours. Hours. And every once in a while I need to do a playthrough. Scan Boop. and then dispatch. Yes, see, this is perfect. Perfect. Uh, now, control right, and then the shift is to take off. So basically, we need as many resources as we can to resupply our ships, refuel, do everything. Um, and really, back in the day, there were no guides on how to do this. Oh, shit. Well. Uh, so you had to, like, go and actually explore. And, man... There, uh, so apparently, what how they built this game, uh, the, the dudes um, went up to Alaska. <laughs> Not a word of a lie. They went they went up to Alaska for about a year and a half to create all the different planets and all the different so, so, solar systems um, that you can see here. Like we're just this one little star right here, right? And there are, you can go to every single one and there will be something there. I think, I think, I think there's a rare few that have nothing, but there are planets around most of the, most of these stars. All right. We are, we need to go to Jupiter A. Jupiter A. Jupiter A, Jupiter B, Saturn, all of the moons, Neptune, all of the moons, and then offload the minerals again. And then we go to Pluto. So, Jupiter, I think it was this way. Yes, there we go. So, Jupiter A. Yeah. Auto scan everything. There's tons of resources here. Hey, Sin, how you doing, buddy? Playing a retro game. Okay, we gotta be careful, I guess. Here. So we can only carry so much on each lander. Uh, I'm I'm doing pretty good, man. Um, a little tired, but that's because I uh, didn't sleep most of the night with my mask on, so that's my own fault. But I think after this, I'll probably have another nap, and I should be good to go. But besides, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, how was uh, how was your night? Did you have any calls to go? Because uh, I don't. We got snow yesterday, but it wasn't like a ton of it. All right. We are going to Jupiter B, which is like right here. But there's a bug that you can't be touching two planets at the same time. Oh, everything's been clear? Oh, just super cold? Yeah, we got the same stupid cold nonsense. There will be planets where there's monsters on it, and we gotta kill them, too. Okay. 
all the resources on because we need to make sure that the King Bob ship is uh, good to go. I try to be as efficient as possible. So if you see down on my lander, off to this bottom uh, right, you'll see min, which is my min minerals. And as I gather more, that that bar fill, fills up. And uh, DAT is uh, biological uh, data, data. So when you go kill a mo monster on some on some planet, you go and collect pockets of information and you can bring it to another species that you eventually run into okay we are going to saturn and i believe that was up here we have to do all the moons so normally like we can do a quick rock walkthrough but my walkthrough is uh it basically accounts for margin of error where you could lose ships in fights and all that stuff and run out of fuel. Um, it, it, oh, sh just, no, <laughs> come here, no, oh my god. <laughs> I ain't gonna be working for NASA. Go to all the moons. There's only one moon around Saturn, apparently. Or at least one that's worthwhile. <laughs> the rest can go to hell. Oh, but it does look like we have, there's bad weather. It's bad weather on this planet. Yep. And eventually you can get heat shields and lightning shields. Hey, we just uh, we just had two crew members die. Rip. They will be remembered in the annals of the rise of the Empire of Stone. That's what that's what we have called it. Oh, we just lost two more. Off we go. We are going to Neptune. Uh, I believe it was this way. Neptune is planet eight, correct? I believe. I think Uranus is seven. All right, uh, hmm, actually, so Neptune is going to be this one here, because Pluto is still a planet. What about Uranus? I, I don't know, man. Only one moon that's apparently worthwhile. Yay. Let's get this first. So, so things that are in gray are not worth very much. Things that are in purple are worth the most. Um, there's different colors of them all. Okay, that's it there. Now we are going to offload all this stuff at the at. at at our base and uh, then we go to Pluto uh, go to the base all our, all your base belong to us you know what another game was that I played a lot was uh, XCOM the original one Maybe it was XCOM 2. But it was uh, turn-based. Right. I don't know, but like, I know that they have new ones, and I've never played those ones. All right. I hope the battle fares well, Captain. Before yep. we proceed, I wanted you to know... I have not. Our deep space monitoring team has detected faint alien signals coming from Uranus or huh? somewhere in that general direction. 
The emanations are definitely being generated from within the solar system and could represent the presence of a higher spy. Are really good. Oh man. All right, see so you can see all the different colors as we unload them. Good work, Captain. Good work, Captain. Um all right. Return soon, Captain. I I wouldn't mind playing it. I just need to uh I need to, oh shoot, actually, you know what? We should have, uh, we should have got more crew. Cause uh, we lost some, right? Lou underscore games cheered for Ruh -ruh. one bit. Good hey, work, you, Cap'n. <laughs> thank you, Lou. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get another ship, just for giggles. Whoops. Okay, let's go to Pluto. And let me update the thing. Thank you very much, Lou. I appreciate it. Why does... I keep right-clicking it, and it keeps, like, shifting up. Why? Why? Take off snap to grid. Maybe that's why it's screwing around. Woo. Okay. We. Where's Pluto? Signals are coming from Uranus, but it's all garbled. Haven't you ever noticed when somebody goes poop, your sphincter goes poop? But then, just imagine what happens when you have explosive diarrhea. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. So there's some purple minerals here. Yay. So that's worth a lot. Five so crystals. And look at this. <laughs> oh, we lost like eight people. Mayday from the surface. They killed Kowalski, Fritz, Chin, O'Donnell, Luigi, and all three of the Lieberman triplets. Oh, hell. We have returned fire, but our stunner can't penetrate the ship's hull armor. Ah, the hell. Attention, big green <laughs> hostile alien vessel hovering <laughs> overhead in an obvious attack posture. This is Spotty Captain Swiffle. I know you are going to torture me, <laughs> so let's just get I did, LV. Right They're all done. The coordinates of my home world Quick, write this down. Don't write this down. By and the ultra secret spotty cipher, which is known only by me and several <laughs> billion other spotty, is Huffy Muffy Duffy. Sorry about that little mistake with your landing vehicle. I was uh, so startled when it approached my vessel in a threatening manner that uh, my automated defense system fired <laughs> on it when it got too close. I hope nobody got hurt. No, no, no. Um, we come in peace. Uh. Of course, of course. As I said, I am Captain Foto of the Spotty Merchant Star Runner. Our sensors have tracked your entry into the system, which you are no doubt here to conquer. And while you are certainly welcome to do so, <laughs> we would be greatly appreciative if you would please just go away and 
and forget this file system ever existed. If you don't go, it will greatly complicate our master-slave relationship with the Earth One, who stationed us here to watch over the Earthlings. Damn, Earth One. We grieve. So we so we understand that sometimes these tragic mi mis misunderstandings happen. <laughs> it just killed eight of your crew, man. We grieve, but are not bitter. Phew, thanks. For a minute there, I thought you were going to kill me. Yeah, well. Uh... Let's say, uh... Uh, twenty years ago, this region of space was dominated by a loose confederation known as the Alliance of Free Stars, which was composed of the aliens native to these parts who did not want to be enslaved. They made a valiant effort against the superior Urquan forces. It even looked like they might miraculously defeat the combined Urquan Armada, right up to the point at which the Urquan totally defeated, indeed, annihilated them. Annihilated. Uh, so what are you doing here on Pluto? When the Oricon Armada entered the system to subjugate formerly the Earthlings, the Oricon presented the humans with the standard slave options. Join the hierarchy as combat drones and retain some autonomy, including the right to travel through space, or become a fellow species and return to a free atomic savagery on the surface of their homeworld, encased for all time beneath an impenetrable force shield. The humans chose the latter option, and so were swiftly imprisoned on the surface of Earth. But the Earth One didn't have them to obey the restrictions, so they <laughs> chose a small group of hierarchy combat starships from the Inlet and Spartan fleets to create the so-called Earth Guard and station them at a base on Earth's moon. Ooh. <clears throat> Originally, we were stationed on Earth's moon, which made us spatty a bit uneasy because with each passing day, we grew more and more worried about the sneaky Earthlings making a surprise attack. But the Inlet kept telling us that it was impossible since the Earthlings had no ships or weapons whatsoever. That made us feel a bit better, but when the Inlet left again, we grew fearful <laughs> and decided to make a strategic redeployment to Mars. Later on, we decided it would be prudent to relocate to Jupiter's moon, Ganymede, then later Saturn's moon, Titan, and finally here to Pluto. Freaking spathy. Cowards. Alright, uh... Yeah, what, what happened to the old The were supposed to be the toughest ridge crest, er, uh, the most rigid flipper, no, ah uh, yes, <laughs> the backbone of the Earth Guard Force. But they departed the system on the mass not long after the last Earth Hundred that vanished from this region of space. They claimed to have received a direct order from their gods of evil and darkness, who had grown dissatisfied with the Inrap's passivity and wanted them to kill, or at least, torture someone soon. <laughs> Personally, I believe they just got bored and went off to have some fun. That sounds like it. Uh, alright, when do you expect well, them to return? When they were pushing up into hyperspace 18 years ago, wow. we asked them that very question, and I think they said something to the effect of real soon. <laughs> What's happening on the base, on the moon? If the Earthlings figured out we had abandoned the base on the Luna, they would be more likely to try something sneaky. So, we rigged up some old service androids and ordered them to drive around on the lunar surface in bulldozers, endlessly pushing around the same piles of dirt. In addition, we connected the base's local radio transmitter to an audio Melnorme fun rum called Winky's Happy Night. <laughs> Winky's Happy Night. We were still there. <laughs> this sounds like something Ke Ke Kevin would watch. Winky's Happy Night. <laughs> or or it's Speedy Peep Peep. Kiwi. Maybe that maybe that's the movie that uh, Vincent Spe Speedy Pee Wee Johnson was in. Winky's Happy Night. All right, what happened to the other 
Bathy ships. Oh boy. Uh, who or what is this? The ultimate evil remains largely unmanifest, and its powers and exact intentions are still a bit obscure, since it lurks just outside the range of even the most sensitive long-range detectors, <laughs> which we feel gives conclusive evidence as to the ultimate evil's nefarious intent. Uh, all right, why are you Since still here? It was our most powerful and unforgiving master, the Orkhan, who stationed us here. We knew it would be grossly stupid to disobey them completely, but we decided it would be okay to send just one ship home. <laughs> we used one of our most ancient and they don't want to be here. <laughs> To pick the lucky ship. <laughs> then, some months later, we decided that it wouldn't really hurt if we sent one, one more, more ship, ship home. And then later we sent another, and then another. Well, you get the idea. Alas, as fate would have it, when the final ritual was performed, I, Barrisso, was left here alone. For as even the most immature in wrestling knows, there must always be one stopper who puts the short top runs to... <laughs> top run. Um... Right, how many crew do you have? That is to say, scores <laughs> and perhaps even hundreds of my brethren stride through the corridors of this specially modified, super efficient, fast <laughs> destruction oriented starship, which could lay siege to an entire planetary system should we choose to do so, which, fortunately for you, we have decided not to do today. Ooh, hundreds? I am undone! You are far too clever for a poor stuffy like me, and now I must submit to your superior alien intellect. I guess I am not revealing any truly important secrets if I tell you that each of my species' eluder class of void ships typically holds 30 stuffy crewmen, though at present my vessel, the Star Runner, is not up to full complement due to the needs of my homeworld in their resistance against the ultimate evil. <laughs> and in fact, my vessel is somewhat understaffed right now, seeing as how I am the only stuffy on board, wow. which is a bit threatening, as I am sure you can understand. <laughs> It's like the last guy on the last ship. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you happy here? How true, Captain. How true. In truth, just between us, during the past seven years, I have been quite ill at ease, and yet now I find myself enjoying your company. This witty dialogue and in the presence of your huge, powerful, death-dealing starship, which, being my friend, you would certainly feel compelled to use in order to save me from <laughs> any hostile life form who threatened me with death. Uh, let's see. Maybe he'd feel safer. Happy days and oh, jubilation! Okay. I discard all prejudice and hesitation and accept and celebrate your offer of protection and your undying commitment to no, We had that option being. before, but you he wouldn't respond like this unless you go through all this stuff. And make sure first. you understand that any other spotty ships we meet at large in the galaxy are not going to be quite so responsive to your friendly gestures as myself. Since they bear more heavily the yoke of Urquan enslavement and are also apt to talk themselves out of allying with a totally unknown alien, which I, having been left here alone, cannot do. <laughs> Welcome me aboard, Captain. Alright, I got the spathy. And, uh, let's save. Because that's the end of that section. So let's just, uh... There's like 50 slots or something like that, I believe. Anyways, yeah, so there's quite a few slots. Quite a few slots, I say. Uh, let's go, okay. We go to... Okay, we're actually going to go... We're going to ref... And actually, we're going to get more crew. So we're going to leave the solar system. 
just looking at time. So, and I'm looking at my guide that I have. I'll, I'll uh, I could post this up on Discord and up and upload it and pin it, just in case any one of you want to possibly play this game. You'll have a walkthrough because it's uh, you could play this game for hours and then lose, like hours and hours and hours and hours, and then you lose. You only have four years in terms of the game to win. Um, shipyard. Right, I don't think. Oh, we can. Okay, good. Yeah, let's fill that up. Fill this one up. Okay. Let's get fuel. You play lots of hey stone you can play lots of games for hours and hours and then lose well the way that you lose this one is like once it starts built okay basically uh, eventually the, the eventually eventually the Ur, the urquan find out what you're trying to do and they come in um and wipe you out man and their ships are hard to beat. And uh, and after so after four years of playing the game, or, or being in the game, right? Four four years pass, and uh, they basically come in and start wiping out every one of your um, every every one every one of your every one of your allies. And then you can't use those ships then, and so you get whittled down to nothing, and you're and then you're screwed. It's just you're done. So we're at March 24, 2155. Um, I think by the end of 2159 or 2160, that's when they come in and wipe and wipe and wipe, and wipe you out. All right, we're gonna go to Alpha Centauri. I take, we're gonna use a star map. Okay, Alpha Centauri. Is it this one? Nope. Oh, it's down here. Alpha Centauri. Go. Yeah, we're on autopilot. You lose every game you play in Overwatch. That's not true. <laughs> it might feel like that. It feels it feels like that for me. Man, we're going so slow. Bow, 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 bow. All right. Are you on drugs? <laughs> this scene is possible. Okay, find the Melnorm trader and or the Melnorme and make contacts. So we need to find. There's going to be another ship around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Come here, come here, Billy. Okay, he went to Planet One. Yeah. There he is. No, don't go away. Come here. God, love it. Ah. So you can basically spend too much time trying to trying to look at every single planet in in the, in this in this uh, game, um, and then you run out of time, right? So. Um, okay, so I don't know where he went. Uh, we want to go... So on my guide it says, go mine planet 3 and 8, but I might lose some people. So here's planet 3. Or planet 8, sorry. Yeah, this is planet 8. Right, because this has got 
Look at that. Look at the purple, the big, big purple nodes there. We need to touch down and get the hell out of there as fast as we can. Oh, God. Ah, get out of there. Planet's on fire. Let's see if we can get these two. Let's see if we can get them at once. Ah! Oh, we lost four people. And one more. Because these are worth the most. Ah! Lost two more people. Okay. Let's navigate. I'm gonna go to planet three and hopefully we'll run into the trader ship. So the trader ship is the one that wants biological info. And if you run out of fuel, they will help you, but it costs you. <laughs> rip 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 those people, but we need some. It's like, yep, yeah, so guys, uh there's some really good stuff down there. And the, oh god, again. Like as soon as I get in there, they, they take off. Okay, now they're going over there. We're going to eight. We, we were just there. We were just there. It feels, it feels like we're chasing these guys. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now they saw us. I am Tree Master Greenish, in command of the Melnome Starship. Inevitably successful in all circumstances. I bid you a formal welcome, Captain. Though we know nor may have just recently arrived in this region of space, we have long desired to make contact with your species and look forward to an extended, profitable relationship. Mm. So we just need to make contact. Apparently, we don't need to really go into a whole bunch of stuff, but um, um, <laughs> let's, we'll do one. We'll do one. Meeting, we do of you, Captain. Though your struggle to free Earth shall be a long and difficult challenge, fraught with great danger and mystery, we have great confidence in you and your abilities. All right. Can you Let's move on. Us. Seek any super giant star system. We shall be there. Ooh, we shall be there. All right, let's go to planet three and rip some more people. <laughs> They're gonna be dead. They're gonna die. So planet uh, one, two, three. All right, it's right near that gas giant. At least I think that's a gas giant. There we go. Planet three. Hey, another crystal planet. Look at all that. Yes. All right, let's go get this one. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I lost three people. Jeez. But it's worth it though. It's worth it. Ah, we lost one. Every like let's see if we can actually get one where we don't lose anybody. And we can never Oh shoot. Ah, we lost two. I was going to say, oh, we almost did it. Nope. Oh. No. Hey, we did one. I should have got the other one, but uh, I think I think it would have wasted some. Because it will only fill it up to a certain... Ah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We only had three people left on that one. They're like, Captain. Like, seriously, dude. You're... You are the worst. And I'm like, too bad. It's the Empire of Stone. We will listen. Get out of there. All right, two more. So every time we send a ship down, it actually costs fuel as well. Oh, 
this crew was like, hey, we won the lotto. Nobody died. <laughs> hey, this one too. Wow. All right. All right. So let's go to the star map. We're very close to the Ill Wrath uh, space here. We want to go to Eta Gyclus or Giclus. Zero, so 70.8, 70 by 4.1, I think it's this one, yep. Off we go, <clears throat> off we go. So I also have them in sections too on my guide as well. Because it's on autopilot, we can just kind of sit back and let it do its thing. Calm down now, B. I mean, why should we be calm when, you know, people are dying when we could actually go back to Earth and just kind of sit around and watch Wink, 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 Winky's Fun Night over and over and over again. <laughs> What's Vincent Speedy Pee Wee Johnson? <laughs> uh, you're <laughs> listening to classical covers of popular songs. You're playing Ark! Oh man. I have not played that game. Oh no. Well, there we go. Who is it? Oh god. I hate these things. We come in peace. Yeah, we come in peace. You almost have 1,500 hours in it. Oh, my goodness. All right. We are from Earth on a mission of peace. We are on a peaceful mission of exploration. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. What? What? Why? All right, let's go pick. Uh, no, let's go pick one of our human. Let's pick Buck. Here we go, Buck. Oh my God, Buck! Buck's not doing too well. Oh my God, Buck! Shoot him! Buck's. Oh, Buck died. <laughs> Captain Buck is dead. Oh God. Uh, let's do Halleck. Captain Halleck will do it. There we go. See, he's like, yeah, what's the problem? Easy peasy. Get resources from killing them, too. And uh, then away we go. Back onto autopilot. And it looks like on the minimap radar, we're going to get something else. I don't think it's another probe, though. At least I hope not. Because the probes start to get out of hand, too. Ooh. Here we go. Welcome to our home stars. We are the Becunk. Becunk we are. Seekers of the deepest truths. Askers of interesting and significant questions. Even now, a question of great transcendental significance comes up begging to our mind. Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> uh... We are friendly beings who speak, seek to establish friendly relations with your species. Although we the Kunk have no rank, no pecking order, no arbitrary scheme of dominance, really? we do recognize that some of the souls in this universe have lived many lives, while others are but virtual chickadees. <laughs> I, Captain, have lived 38 lives. Calls, I must go. By all means, if duty is calling, I'm 
sure we'll see each other again. Perhaps when the stars are aligned in an appropriate configuration. Yes, my inner voice is telling me that... There are some races that we're going to meet. Man. Like, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. So we're going to this planet to go mine planet number four. Oh god, this could... Oh, that that's a probe, I think. We'll have to fight this one. Oh, it's not. Okay. So we should converse because we can converse and get and get out of it. But we could not hurt you any more than we could squish the helpless poot worm. Poot worm. We are one with the poot worm. We are one with you. Oh my god. Of course you realize this means I don't remember this. Rejoice! To be one with the poot worm is to be alive! And why not be alive? Is that not what living is for? I don't remember this. The poot worm. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes, by all means, get to the I am sure we'll see each other again. Perhaps when the stars are aligned in an appropriate configuration. Yes, my inner voice is telling me that is correct. When the stars align, Captain. <laughs> I mean, they were, they did go to Alaska for like a year and a half or so um, to go make this game. So maybe they got, to, maybe they had ca cabin feet fee for something. Oh God. Uh, can we make it to the star system? Uh, nope. Oh my God. Look at all of them. We're going to be here for a bit. I'm going to see if I can skip past some stuff. All right. Let's converse. Uh, let's duty calls. Yes, Yes, alright. There's nothing new here. And we'll get another run. Oh, damn it. Oh my god, look at them all. They're all converging on us. That's okay. We can get the hell out of here. Just as long as we don't have to fight like a probe. Ugh, because those, those things are terrible. Good morning, Tiber. How are you doing? When did this game come out? 1992. This version of the game that we're playing is a port. Uh, I think the late the latest version was 2018, but the code from the 1992 game was released to the public in 2002, in the hopes that somebody would take it and make stuff with it, and they did. At 100, just 100% Shining Force 2, and I'm working on Final Fantasy Tactics at the moment. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what that means, dude. <laughs> Alright, we need to go to Planet 4. One, two, three. Okay, it's that green one off to the side here. Where there's two Pekunk. Oh, I gotcha. I, uh, you know what? I have not completed Final Fantasy 1. Uh, and I own, oh no. Oh no, they're all gonna come after me. Let's converse. I assume. Let's hope we can just get into the planet. Let's go to the planet. There we go. Planet 4. We want to mine that. Right, because this has got all the good stuff in it. That's why I'm sending us here, because it's got awesome stuff. Oh, and there's like no weather, like no bad weather, no nothing. Holy crap. Yay. This is a great place to go. Yeah, the crew is like, oh, I wish the other planet was like this. That. Um, no, we're going to waste it if we try to mine that one. So let's do, let's send our power people back down. We'll get this one. There we go. Final Fantasy 4, which was Final Fantasy 2 in North America. Oh, okay. Huh. I remember Final Fantasy 1. It came with, like, a massive map. It was really cool. All right, we need to go to Gamma Kruger. We've got to talk with those pick. Pe uh, we we have to talk with the home world. 
so we can get them off our backs all the time. So they are at 52 by 52. This one? No. This one. Gamma Kruger. Let's go. Autopilot is on. We might only be able to finish up this section, and then we might call it a stream. Uh, wasn't really planning on streaming a ton, but we are. I think I'm going to do this on Sundays until we finish the walkthrough, and then I'm going to do the new version of the game. Oh, please don't let this be a probe. Please. Oh, God, it's a probe. So, um, really nothing else happened like like you can talk with them we bring greetings from so they always say hey we, we we come in peace and we're like uh we too come in peace this please believe us 2418 b we seek to make friendly contact with alien life forms priority override new behavior dictated see all of a sudden they're like yeah we we, we we come in peace too oh but we actually no we're gonna destroy you now all right let's send out halleck because he did well last time but i think he's oh no as soon as you get in close you're screwed oh halleck 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 oh halleck bit the dust it wasn't to be it was not to be Let's uh, let's send off Decker. He was our original captain. Oh, Decker's in trouble. Oh my God, Decker. Maybe, maybe Decker can do it. Yes, Decker barely makes it out in one piece. Barely. I wouldn't mind uh, if if I ever got my hands on a uh, capture card. I wouldn't mind playing the Nintendo Classic and playing Final Fantasy One uh, as as a stream. Okay, this one we can we can talk through and get out, and we don't have to fight them, which is great. Ugh. Yeah, it's just a matter of doing it, right? Well, I was going to get something strong, like something pretty good, just in case I wanted to do some wanted to do so, so, something else with it. Uh, okay, that's no problem. Okay. So eventually when we go talk with our home world, all these all of them trying to come at us will stop. You you only need a 4K cap card if you are streaming high res or high refresh otherwise for what you do a simple 1080p ever media will serve its purpose that's what i have so with your capture card is it actually like a card that goes inside the computer or is it like a usb thing all right we need to go to gamma kruger one they will give you the clear spindle and four furies. What's a piece? Oh, it's PCI internal. Okay. Hmm. I think I have one free. I have to really get in there. Oops. So is it like the small one or is it the big long one? Cause I don't know if I have any small uh, slots left. Cause I have that. Uh, hmm. Cause I have uh, my extra USB card in there. I have two other long slots that are open, but I don't think I have any more small ones. Um, so I can buy an external. Okay converse we don't need to talk with them we can just get out of that because they won't fight us we're not fighting them when and they don't want to fight us so yay let's get to the planet hopefully before one of them touches us again there we go okay this is our home world
And do we want to fight them? <laughs> I don't think so. A spirit voice rings within my soul. He tells me that I must give you something. Something to aid you on your noble quest. What spirit? What must we give this young human? <laughs> Mineral resources? No. Important secret? No. Starship? No. Then what is a spirit? Spit it out. What? That thing? Are you sure? Okay. Here you go, <laughs> Captain. Take this clear spindle. It is an ancient and powerful device built by the precursor hundreds of thousands of years ago. What does it do, you ask? I haven't the slightest idea. <laughs> A special force can send seven different omens to foothold your arrival. Welcome, alien guests, to the home of the gentle and playful Bacalc. Children of the cosmic light. Hobgoblins of joy. Seekers of spiritual <laughs> truth. I never need stuff like that. All right. Uh, perhaps we should in introduce yourself. I am uh, introduce ourselves. I am Captain Stone in command of the King Bob. Yes, yes, we know all that. We are not known throughout the galactic sector as powerful psychics for nothing. Ah. Of course, we already know the answer to this next question too. But we enjoy conversation. <laughs> Uh huh. Why have you come here? Uh. <laughs> we are on a five year mission to seek out new life and new civilizations. So boldly go where no. Well, you get the idea. We're kind of exploring. Uh, or, or, okay. Uh, oh, uh, no reason. We thought we'd just take this baby out for a little cruise. And would you look where we had added up? My yes. <laughs> Ask for your help in the fight against the Urquan. The fight, always the fight. We, the Kunk, are yin and you are yang. I suppose the problem is that the Urquan are a little more yang than you are. Mm -hmm. Well, be that as it may, we are sympathetic to your concerns. We were not always the mystical, aloof, and yet caring, enlightened beings that we are now. If need be, we can still kick some serious butt. Let us unite and form an alliance. Sweet. We will provide you with all of the crew, ship, and resources you desire. We will give you... Wait! I sense that you are offended by our <laughs> crass material offer. No! Yes, I am ashamed. <laughs> Any warmongering species could offer this. We are the Kunk, children of the Stella Breeze. We shall give you... What all others could not, the greatest of gifts, we shall give you our love. <laughs> ah, you are speechless. <laughs> Do not talk now. I can feel the energy connecting us. Let us hop while the silence remains. Farewell. But wait, before we go, as a small token of our love, not as a material gift, mind you, <laughs> we give you four of our mega ships, fully crewed. Good luck! Alright. We have to go back to Earth. Yeah, we overshot that. Uh, and do all and offload all of our stuff. Whoopsie <sighs> dee what a good day I am having! First, my nest mate surprises me with extra fat and spicy grubs for yeah. early meal. Then I am complimented on my fine display of ceremonial tongues. To top it off, I encounter the human friend, loved by all the kites. So I think... Can things get any better? This should, uh... 
Adios, Pocunkos. It's possible they were on drugs <laughs> when they made this game. <laughs> Hopefully we can get the hell out of here without doing any more encounters with them. I think uh, they shouldn't be coming at us anymore, I don't think. At least not while we're in their space. Uh, you might see one or two, but... So apparently I need to get another fuel tank. Oh god! <sighs> oh. So I think once they're spawned, then you're kind of screwed. Ooh, Ilrath. Yikes. What? Can I believe my sensory collector? I sense humans. I dance with joy for our good fortune. Crap. The human dies with such agony that it cannot help <laughs> but please Dogar and Kazan. <laughs> uh, your greed for lives seals your doom. Um Yeah. You amuse us with your nonsensical ramblings. <laughs> we look forward to the careful exploration of your structure. <laughs> First, we will peel back the curious follicle infested outer layer, followed Yikes. by the greasy blankets of yellow lard. Oh. Such a confusing hodgepodge of parts can entertain for hours. <laughs> oh, man. Human, prepare yourself for the festivities. Oh, God. All right. So these guys, uh, we're going to save Decker. We're going to go use some of the Pakunko or the Pakunk ships. Oh, man. So they're pretty small. Now they get blown up. But they can resurrect. They have a chance to resurrect. And he, he died once. Twice now he's come back. <laughs> They're not doing too well, though. Oh, he didn't come back. All right, I think what I might do is use my main ship and then escape out into warp. There we go. Let's get the hell out of there. Come on, hurry up before he comes in there. Now go, go, go. Because there were like four... Oh, God. We're... I think we're going to... The gonna... stars are in auspicious alignment. Yeah. Goodbye. I think we're going to be in trouble here. We could be in trouble here. I just want to make sure we can get out. Oh my god, there's like three of them. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to keep trying to... Yeah, look, there's five of them. We're going to try... We're going to have to attack with our main ship and then get the hell out. Oh, go. Oh no, we're in trouble. Go, 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 before he attacks us. Oh my god. Shit. And then the Ilroth one just respawned. Oh, this is a different one. There's four of them on this one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we're in trouble. We're dead. That's the game. Right there. We just died. <laughs> game's over as soon as you lose your main ship that's it uh where did we where did we last load where did we last do the save we were on pluto god damn it all right so we didn't do the mel norme see i should have did a save point after each uh step but uh okay i'm gonna call her there i was planning on call Pulling it after we got back to the home base. Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is that for next Sunday, I'll try to get back to the base. So so I'll play through up to the point where we, we died here. And uh, 
and uh actually you know what i wonder if it was like uh so let's go navigate i feel like i didn't add i think if i added uh thrusters i think because we can go faster i think that was one of the things you always want to add thrusters as many as you can so you can go as fast as you can because if you put every thruster you could on, you will outrace basically everything. Um, but we're going to call it there. Um, and uh, I'm just checking here really quickly. Because outfits starship, right? Module. So this, yeah, so... This, this would have helped, for sure. So adding thrusters, and then these are turning jets. And then we add crew and all that kind of stuff. But, okay. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate it. Uh, walking down my memory lane a bit. We will do this next week. Uh, we're going to go through until we complete it. Uh, and then after that, we might, uh, I might go with the new game or, or like I might s start with the new version that came out. Uh, but then after that, uh, or I might do like a di completely different game like XCOM. I, maybe I can download it off Steam or something. Um, I don't know. So anyways, uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, Nap, Lou, thank you for your bit. Sorry. Nap, thank you for a bit. Lou, thank you for a bit. We're we're slowly getting there. We're slowly. Well, we're quickly getting there. We're a lot farther than I thought we were going to be. And yes, having old games are tough. And you know what? I died and I'm like, oh, God. You know, I'm not crying to Blizzard. But ah, make it easier. Make it easier. That's, that's how it is. Anyways. Okay. Peace out. See y'all later. Uh, I'll post a new schedule soon. That's it. Bye. Bye.